We begin at five with a hidden problem involving Indiana's children who are most at need. We're talking about students who are homeless. A new report suggests it is a staggering number. More than 15,700 homeless students in 2013, an increase of 28% in just three years. In IPS, there are 1,600 homeless students. In Washington Township, about 500. RTV6's Derek Thomas starts there. A school bus comes every day to in-town suites to pick up homeless students. Without that service, Latrice Owens and her two daughters don't know what they would do. Did you ever think you'd be in this position? No. Uh, Not in a million years that I think that. She didn't think she would be homeless living in the in-town suites since July. Her 15-year-old daughter Jade attends North Central High School and her 9-year-old daughter Lamaya goes to Spring Mill Elementary. Even though they are homeless, they can stay in their same school. Keeping a child's education stable, keeping a child at their, their same school with their same teacher and their same friends while so much chaos is going on for them outside of school. Owens takes the bus to work and has a steady job at Anthem, but her credit is so bad she can't get an apartment or home. People think this because I have a stable job and I am able to get to work and my kids are able to go to school that I'm not homeless, but I am. And it's, it hurts and I don't want my kids to continue to go through it, but I have to let them know that it's not going to be this way forever. That is the same mantra you hear from 19-year-old Javon Cousin. He is a senior in North Central and is homeless, too. He has praised for the township in helping him with food, clothing, and bus transportation. Every day, I do look to them when I do need something because they do have an answer, so they are there for me pretty much a lot. Cousin is applying to college and hopes to attend next fall. Owen's daughters have some time before they get to that stage. Owens continues to hunt for a permanent home, but she remains thankful for the accommodations that have been made to help her children get their education. Derek Thomas, RTV6. And this year, Washington Township gets a federal grant of about $50,000 to assist homeless students. This money is made possible by the McKinney-Vento Education Homeless Children and Youth Assistance Act. Let's give you more now about homeless students. The definition used nationally is a child who lacks a fixed, regular, adequate nighttime residence. More than 80% lived doubled up, meaning they are sharing some other family's home. Another 11% live in shelters, 6.5% in hotels and motels, and 1.5% unsheltered, including cars, parks, and abandoned buildings. Let's welcome in now Laura Alvarado. She's the Vice President of Programs and Community Outreach for School on Wheels. It's a group that provides tutors for homeless children. And Laura, you see this every day. Uh, how big of a problem is homelessness for students? Well, it impacts obviously their academic career in terms of school and, and home. Um, for us, we work with over 350 youth each year that are experiencing homelessness. And we work with students living in homeless shelters to transitional housing to various schools around the city. And we see that impact every day that we're working with our kids, that it can be that they're tired from you know, being up in a shelter that might have a lot of people living in the same quarters to um, maybe in a transitional housing they've just moved in and they just are a little unsure um, because of they've been so transient what's next for them. So with right. School on Wheels, our goal is to really make them feel comfortable um, and have that stability that they need so that they can work with us every night um, during our tutoring hour, uh, Monday through Thursday, and really re receive that positive support and energy to go to school the next day. So it's not just a physical impact, it's a mental impact too. Absolutely. Both sides. Absolutely. So our students, you know, I always say that every child is different in terms of how they um, show us or deal with being homeless and you can have a family of five kids and every child in that family that's experienced the same path mm -hmm. as their brothers or sisters may react differently and one may be totally dedicated to school love school that's kind right. of been their outlet to another student who's just behaviorally um, that's how they've coped so they've acted out at school and just had a really difficult time to another child who might in that same family be two grade levels behind but in fourth grade but working on second 
second grade level material in terms of what they understand. Right. Finally, tell me how School on Wheels tutors help, help, help these children. Absolutely. So we train over 400 volunteers each year from a ver variety of backgrounds to go in and work with our students one hour a week, one evening a week, anywhere between 3.30 to really 8 o'clock at night at any one of our 13 partner locations. Mm -hmm. And we train them really to understand what the goal is, which is to provide that academic support to our kids while they're experiencing homelessness um, and hopefully that our kids will grow during their time that they're with us academically right. and for our volunteers the training is a two and a half hour training very simple to attend after a series of um, interviews and application process mm -hmm. and what they're trained on is simple curriculum that we've created that basically guides our kids and our tutors on their game like activities right. that are academically Indiana State Standard aligned to help with concept areas so that our kids, after they've finished homework with our tutors, can engage in these games and really build the concepts that they need. For instance, if we have a child that's a couple grade levels behind, mm -hmm. we're going to help them, meet them where they are to get them where they need. To. All right. Laura Alvarado with School on Wheels, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Back to you. And if you want to help School on Wheels, including volunteering, your time to tutor homeless students, we've made it easy for you to connect. You can look for their link on our website and RTV6 app.